Hey guys, welcome to another video. And since many of you guys were requesting on uh, what is the new CK syllabus looking like and make a video on this. So I thought, you know, why not make just a quick video on this? So this video will basically cover whatever, what are the changes that happened to the CK syllabus since February of 2025. So without wasting much time, let's just see what, what, are, the, uh, what are these uh, things. And make sure you watch till the end because the last slide will kind of give you like a key takeaway of what all you need to know about the new syllabus change. So first of all, uh, one thing is that the cluster uh, architecture and installation and configuration has got an increased weightage of 25%. Uh, and the key things to note is that uh, you need to now prepare for Helm and customize. That is one thing uh, for installing the uh, uh, cluster components and also make sure that you understand what is custom resource definitions and operators because this is also important now. Then uh, when it comes to workflow scheduling, um, you can see that uh, you have to understand how to configure workflow auto scaling. So this is also important. And then uh, we have to also be, you know, like uh, understand how, you know, you can do port scheduling and how to add limits and node and affinity, affinity all that. So this is kind of not that different, but uh, it will be good to know how to do auto scaling. So when it comes to networking, one of the things is that gateway API has been added. So we have to, you know, understand how gateway API works for networking. So make sure that you go and watch a video on that related to that for sure and then another is uh, core dns configurations also are uh, important now and how to troubleshoot them as well so make sure that you know that as well not not wasting much time when it came to storage the only thing which i realized noticed is kind of that uh, dynamic volume provisioning has uh, is also there now but it kind of only simplifies the process because if you have dynamic uh, volume provisioning that means that you do not need to create a pv so not really that much to focus here, but still uh, make sure that you know what is dynamic volume provisioning. And yeah, so one important thing to note is that troubleshooting is having a weightage of 30%. So yeah, so that is uh, very interesting to note, right? That troubleshooting has got an uh, increased weightage of 30%. So make sure that you understand how to troubleshoot and use all questions related to troubleshooting. And uh, so yeah, so that's all. And what will be the key takeaways as we watched in this video that is, uh, customize and Helm have, be, have Helm have been added. Workflow uh, auto school, auto scaling has some emphasis now. Then also we have to know what is core DNS gateway API. That will be also important to know. Troubleshooting has increased weightage. Make sure that you watch the video. Okay, there's a typo here, but make sure that you watch the video because uh, the video will have uh, inf information. I have some videos related to troubleshooting, so you can watch those videos and uh, get a little bit hands-on on troubleshooting. I'll be making more videos related to troubleshooting in the future. And then also that one more thing is that etcd backup and version upgrades and all are no more having priority. That's what I got to know. So yeah, so this is kind of the key takeaway of this, um, uh, what is there in the new syllabus. But aside from this, if you want to go and look for yourself, I'll also share the link where you can look in the official Linux documentation. Uh, and also make sure that you check out the channel because there are some videos related to CK over here, uh, which you can go and watch and it will really benefit you. So make sure that you watch those videos and subscribe to this channel if you want to, you know, prepare for CK and uh, solve CK questions. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.